What do people know to keep their uh, family? What do they need to know to keep their family safe right now during this, um, you know, this interim? Should they be getting filters? Should they? What can people do to as a safe practice during the infrastructure update? which could last up to five years, right? Right. So the using filters during a boil water advisory, knowing what to do with them is really important because a lot of residents in Highland Park do use lead reducing water filters because there has been a lead action level exceedance in Highland Park. We know that the majority of homes in Highland Park do have a lead service line. So I recommend using a certified lead reducing filter, but a certified lead reducing filter is not gonna help you with microbial contaminants. So when there is a boil water advisory, it starts to get a little tricky. So what we recommend if you use a filter is filter it first, then boil the water, then drink it because you don't want to boil the water then filter it because hot water will ruin the filter. It'll make it ineffective for reducing the lead. So you wanna filter first, then boil it. But then when the boil water advisory is lifted, you need to change your filter cartridge because if there was microbial contaminants and it got into that filter, that filter is made of carbon, it's bug food. So if we don't know, part of the problem, it was a preventative boil water advisory, but if contamination got in, we don't want to encourage it. So if microbial contamination got into that cartridge, it's going to start eating and growing. But during the boil water advisory, there's still a risk of lead. So you filter first, then you boil it. Then when it's done, take out that cartridge, put a new one in, and then you're good to go. That's really important. Yeah. Because that's, I mean, I think that's, it's something that people are, there's no way that they would think of those steps naturally. Right. Yeah. We did yeah, try so. to put it out in the boil water advisories. And so that language was included when the city of Highland right. Park put that information out. But whether people read that far, I, you know, the more people we can get this message out, uh, the more important it is. It's been an issue in Flint where they have continued main breaks and boil water advisories. And yeah. A need for filters. Yeah. So, and it's and the same. The other important thing to make sure that people know is that that filter, we use it for lead. Some people think, oh, it's a filter. My water's fine. It takes care of everything. Those filters don't take care of everything. They're here for the lead. 